Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add a wrong way uh, text message. So, uh, you can add text messages on trigger enter. So, if uh, for example, our bus when uh, uh, our bus go to the wrong path, you can add uh, the message there that this is a wrong path. Also, you can add uh, some sound as well if you want to do. So for that purpose, we can just create a uh, 3D object cube and uh, you can add cube or any other object. And then let's assume that uh, from here, if our bus goes to this way, uh, this will be the wrong path. So we can scale it like this and And maybe like this okay and we can add it here so this will be the wrong path okay so now what we will do we can uh, add script on collision or on trigger so if we want to add on trigger enter a script we can add uh, we will just make it is trigger okay and then we can just create a script and we can name this script wrong uh, way or path whatever you want and then we will open this script into our uh, editor and in the meanwhile we can go to photoshop and here we can create our uh, our message so it's up to you that uh, how much size you want for your message according to your game UI so I'm just creating this 700 and 300 uh, banner you can uh, create your own it's up to you and uh, we can just change the color because this is a wrong way so we can just choose the red color and uh, we'll just apply this color to background and uh, definitely if you want to add some rounded rectangle it would be a good practice it will look good maybe so we can add the uh, 25 maybe and then we can uh, we can just add fill to white the background and now we have this type of banner and uh, now we can just select the banner I will just go to blending options and I will just uh, add a stroke to this banner and we can add black or white stroke whatever you want and we can add six maybe so it's up to you how you will create your banner so here we can write our text so we will be wrong way and here uh, we can say go back sorry it's not visible due to its color so i will just place it here and you can see uh, this is good but capital letters will be better i think so uh, wrong way and we'll just say go back like this okay so uh, we can also add a underline if you want okay no need so now we'll just make it bigger and when we are happy that's it now we'll just select the rounded rectangle control T sorry Control T. What happens? Rounded rectangle. Okay, I was using the wrong key. Control T is the key. So here we have this type of banner, which is good. And now we can just remove the background and we'll just make it small. And when we are happy with the result we can just save this image 
so I will just save this image as a PNG and we can go to desktop and here we can add wrong way image and now we will place this image into our unity so we will go to unity sorry we will go to desktop and here is our image so we can go to unity and we can place it somewhere in sprites so uh, now we will add it here and uh, now we will go to script and we will say that we need a method of void on trigger enter so we will say void sorry void on trigger enter and we are using collider other so we will say that if other dot tag is equal to i think we have a tag for our bus so we will just check the tag of our bus so it's player okay so if the uh, if other dot tag is equal to player then what we want to do and before that and this will be in the inverted comma and now what we want we want a variable here for the game object so we will say public game object and we will say wrong way um, message like this okay and uh, we will say that if other that tag is player then wrong the message dot set active will be true okay so now when we will enter into that uh, uh, cube uh, this message will be on enabled okay and uh, now we will just save this and we will just copy this uh, script and we will come here uh, the f this function and here we will say if we exit the cube okay then what will happen so if we exit this cube when we will return back or if we uh, reach to the right place then what we will uh, do we will just make it false okay so this is very easy so false and now we can apply the script so now if we i will just add this cube near to our bus just for learning purpose you can place it uh, wherever you want so i will just add it here and uh, i will make it small okay and you can just place it here and now if we add our script on this box collider it will work okay on this box so we can add wrong path script here okay and now you can see we have a wrong web message option here so we don't have any wrong web message uh, now so we will just add a wrong web message into our game ui and definitely before that we will just open the prefab because uh, now we can add the that new UI and now we will say that we will want to add a uh, maybe panel or and we can just rename this panel to uh, to wrong way uh, wrong way message okay like this and now we will just add a this uh, the source image and before adding the source image we will convert the source image to sprite 2d and now we will select it and we will add this image here okay and now we will resize it and uh, also we can uh, match the color so i think 150 will be good transparency and now we will just uh, make it scale so like this maybe 
and then we can just add it I think this is a this is very big so we can just make it here I think so so this size is quite better we can check this in game uh, view but uh, definitely we can't see it because we didn't save the prefab so we will just save it and now we will just make it uh, actually we will make it inactive in the beginning okay so as you can see here uh, in game UI that how it will look like and now we will just make it inactive and now we will just save the prefab and we will move back and now we will select the cube you can rename the cube as you want and uh, here and uh, and this wrong way message we can add this message here and now we can just hide the mesh of the cube by, uh, by just uh, disabling this mesh renderer and now you will see that if we enter into this cube uh, the message will be appeared and when we will leave this cube the message will go on so now you can see we have no message so if we move further and if we enter into the cube area you can see we have this message okay and the wrong way go back and now if we move back and when we leave the cube you can see if we move back and now you can see that when we will exit the cube our message gone okay so it's up to you that how you can add this also you can add the sound if you want so if we go to uh, uh, wrong way sound maybe uh, sound mp3 and why I will just get the sound and we will move back I didn't found any good audio uh, sound but uh, I found this buzzer sound so for testing purpose we will just add this buzzer sound okay so now for this sound we can add this sound to any game object or even we can add it on the cube as well so let's add this on the cube so we can add audio source and we can just make it play on awake we will should uh, we will should play uh, we should play it uh, uh, disable it and loop we will continue uh, because we want to play it again and again if it is in the uh, wrong way okay so now we can just add this audio here and that's it now we will just uh, go to our script and in script we will defi define uh, that uh, what sound we want to do so we will say public audio source so the audio source and we will name it wrong way like this and then we will just come here and uh, here, here we will say wrong way sound dot play okay and we want to play it and when we will uh, return back from the uh, this uh, uh, cube uh, from the wrong area then we will say wrong way dot stop and we want to stop the audio okay so it's very simple so now if we uh, if uh, we will select the cube uh, you will see that we will have a audio um, uh, field here in the wrong way and here we will drag off this cube again okay because this cube contains the audio so now if we play the game you will see that when we will enter into this area the wrong way area we will uh, the buzzer will be enabled as well so let's see and you can see that this wrong way buzzer is enabled and if we move back and now you can see that the buzzer and the message gone again okay so that's it we have learned that how we can add the sound to our uh, wrong way to our game uh, that's it for this video and next video we'll move further